Next question is from Randy Weezy 22 What's your take on doing a weekly 24-hour fast? I'd like to do a monthly 48-hour fast as it is, but I'd like to consider doing a 24-hour weekly fast to reset and get things flowing better for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. I like both of those. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. Just make sure they're for the right reasons, right? That's it right there. I mean, I I like both of them, but it does, I mean, don't use it for a weight loss strategy. That's what I tend to see. Like people think it's a good weight loss strategy. I don't think it's that. That's the reason why I prefer the 48 to 72 once a month over the every single week. But I think the the right person in the right mindset that isn't uh, using it as a, a, a way for you to restrict calories uh, and just to lose weight, I think if you're doing it for all the other reasons, I think it's a very valuable tool. No, fa- fasting when it's used as a as a way of detaching, as a way of meditation, as a spiritual practice, um, as a way to reset your how you you're craving food, reset your relationship to food uh, in a healthy way. Great, it's a wonderful tool. If you start to fast because you're trying to lose weight, that's called starving yourself. That turns into yeah. a bad relationship to food. Never really works out well. If anything, it actually it can it contributes to. Here's how you know if you're fasting, if fasting is working for you. Do you find yourself binging afterwards? Mm. If you find yourself binging afterwards, then you're probably not doing fasting for the right reasons. If you fast the right way, uh, when you're done, you ease into eating and you find that your your relationship to food and your your eating habits are just healthier and I don't mean healthier by the food you're eating that's part of it but I mean healthier in the sense of how you feel you feel comfortable moving forward now I prefer longer fasts less frequently than shorter fasts more frequently personally yeah that was kind of my thought uh and I went through a period where I was trying to do a fast a lot more frequently like it was like every other week I would do one 24-hour fast and you know I loved it for the digestive benefits so just to allow my body to really uh reset and and uh I've, i have like certain issues already i'm working on um you know with my digestive tract so this allowed me to just be able to um you know come back fresh and and feel like you know like i had enough adequate time to uh be able to benefit from that and like perform better in terms of my eating um but it, i started to do it so frequently to where it, it it was affecting my energy levels and this is something i did I, it was very subtle uh but it, it really added up after a while where i would feel that effect in the gym and just you know uh having a hard time putting food down and really like uh you know having that hunger that hunger was so suppressed at a certain point that i had to start really working on adding breakfasts back in and adding you know more frequency of eating uh so you just got to be conscious of like what that that balance is for you specifically yeah fasting done for the wrong i mean wrong reasons and for the wrong people applied improperly um can cause hormone issues and cause performance issues um, and of course, it could it could contribute to a bad relationship to food that looks like starving and binging. So if you're going to fast, uh, don't do it for body composition goals. If, if that's your reason, then you're doing it uh, the wrong way.